Hello, people who are not me, and welcome back to Mega Man 9. I am Sire Goku. In the last video, we had a lot of trouble with Jewel Man. <laughs> but, oh well, not much we can do about that. <laughs> uh, okay, I still need 30 bolts to get the energy balancer, so, oh well. Let's just move on. Weakness order with Plug Man and. Probably, and by far, the hardest stage in the game. Oy. <laughs> Thankfully, though, despite this being the hardest stage in the game... Well, of the Robot Masters, anyway. And it's not even that it's hard, it's just frustrating sometimes. We have the Jewel Satellite, which is... the most broken shield weapon in the Mega Man series. You can just kind of stand here, and everything that runs into it dies. <laughs> Which means you can grind for extra lives. <laughs> and unless you run into something that can't be killed in more than one hit, uh, you're gonna just destroy everything. So I'm getting lucky here in getting extra lives. So if you really want to, you can just put the controller down for a little bit. <laughs> Walk away. <laughs> Like, go to work or something, come back a few hours later, and you should get nine lives, no problem. Or at least max out on your bolts. So this is the best place to grind for bolts if you want to buy stuff in the shop. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that since this is a... This is a Let's Play, so it would be boring to just watch me sit here and, you know, kill the same enemies over and over again and hope I get extra lives and bolts. <laughs> However, it is a good example of showing off the... <laughs> It is a good chance to show off the overpoweredness of the of the dual satellite. So there we go. But this stage can be tricky. You're gonna deal with a lot of. Uh, this is where the disappearing blocks come into play. <laughs> ah, <laughs> and see right there that. Metz Hall right there is definitely designed to try and blindside you. <laughs> so, I did a risky move by just rushing it. Normally, you should... Uh, to be more safe, you should most like... Uh, you should use the... You should uh, use the Black Hole Bomb, because you can just take out that metal without having to worry. <laughs> And look, I got 100 bolts and plenty of lives to spare. Hopefully I don't need to use them, because I'm trying not to die. Because that's not... I mean, I've died before, but I want to be more professional with this. I'm good at Mega Man, and I don't want the Let's Play curse to show up, to screw me over, and just make me seem worse than I really am, just because random bad luck gets in the way. <laughs> Sometimes you can't help it. The later stages... As I mentioned before, this is one of the more difficult stages, so sometimes you can't really help, you know, getting deaths, but... <laughs> it's the principle of the thing, you know? The fact that I know I can do this... There we go, see? Uh, if you jump up here, you can get an E-Tank. And that's a trick. You can actually... <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. You can have the Shadow Mega Man that shows up just keep chasing you, and then when he runs into that spike, he kills himself. Right here is the best grinding spot for bolts. Then you just stand right here, and this telly just keeps respawning over... Uh, these tellies just keep respawning over and over again. So yeah, use this spot to grind for bolts if you'd like. <laughs> Just make sure you have the jewel satellite. <laughs> there we go. See, I'm just gonna see, and that's just how simple it is to get weapon to get energy and bolts here. <laughs> I know I'm overusing the Jewel Satellite here, but I don't care. These random tellies get in the way, and it's not... And it's, and it's, you know, it's a weapon that I can use, so I'm gonna freaking abuse it. 
careful here. Uh, there was that extra life. You know what? I'll get it just so I can have nine lives. Actually, I think I messed up and now I can't get it in time. Oh, yes I can. What am I talking about? Of course I can. Alright! And I think that's the end of the stage. Unfortunately, my jewel satellite's not fully charged. And you kind of want your jewel satellite to be fully charged if you're going to use it on Plugman. Because you need all of it if you're going to kill him. Perfect! Alright! Now, this is by far my least favorite boss to try and fight Buster only. <laughs> I've beaten every boss with the bus with just the Buster, but I don't like doing it, especially not against him. Okay, so Plugman's going to... There we go. <laughs> well, I got lucky there. <laughs> uh, when Plugman shoots his plug ball, it just kind of crawls around on the floor, up the ceiling, uh, crawls on the floor, up the wall, and then when it's on the ceiling, as soon as it's where you are, it'll drop down on you. It's kind of like the search snake, only better. <laughs> so there we go, plug ball. That stage and boss are by far the bane of my existence for trying to do no death, uh, do a no damage run. Every time. <laughs> it took me forever to beat his stage and him without getting hit, and every time I get to him in the boss rush, it just kills me. <laughs> but we'll save. Just means I have to put this video up now. But for getting through five stages, Auto's upgraded Rush. Oh, poor roll. <laughs> no, don't slow him down. He's been downgraded ever since Mega Man 3. That's an upgrade. Keep the upgrade. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, uh, he is not going to be that fast. So you just kind of have to deal with it. Items, items. What do I want? Oh, I have max lives. Oh, 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 I know exactly what I want. There we go. Energy balancer. When you pick up a new weapon capsule, this item will restore energy with the weapon with the lowest energy capsule. Yes. It's a hundred bolts, but it's worth it. And that's really all I need. I'll get an energy tank, though, why not? Okay. There we go. So, sorry about wasting time there. Uh, let's see. Man, I've only been recording for nine... Man, that was a short stage, only nine minutes. Well, I am not stopping at this point. <laughs> So, let's move on to Tornado Man, who has my favorite song of the eight Robot Masters, and it's also the music that they played for the trailer. Enjoy!
All right. Well, now that that's over with, I can actually get back to talking about what's going on on screen here. Uh, you have these rotating platforms that make it kind of difficult to jump, especially when there's spikes everywhere. <laughs> uh, you can jump straight down when you're upside down, but I would advise against that. Uh, if you're really not sure of your, of your jumping abilities, you can use the Rush Jet if you have the Rush Jet at this point, which I do. But I'm trying not to use it since, you know, I need to show off <laughs> the... I need to show off the gimmick for the level here. <laughs> but yeah, when you're facing all the way down any jump, you'll drop down really quick. Ooh, one up. <laughs> uh, but if you're facing up or sideways, it could... I don't know what happens if... I don't think you can actually jump when you're floating directly sideways. But hey, let's show off the rush jet. He said he slowed it down. And he totally did. Dang it, Otto. It functions exactly the same as it's always been since Mega Man 4. <laughs> this was the one chance they could have finally had to bring back some usefulness of it. But now we got ice. I don't know why there's ice in Tornado Man's level. I guess it's because it's weather, because now there's snow, so... <laughs> there you go. And just to be safe here... Oh, I could have very easily gotten both of these guys. There we go. But yes, this is ice, so be careful about that. But now we have an inch... A re... Well, now Sniper Joe is Machine Gun Joe. Look at all that. <laughs> Another thing the Jewel Satellite can do is bounce projectiles off. <laughs> so yeah, this is by far the most effective shield weapon in the entire series. I mean, it's crazy good. <laughs> and there's really no reason not to use it to help you. <laughs> anyway, let's get that bolt. <laughs> Come on, 13 minutes? Alright, and now we have another throwback section. Hope you remember Mega Man 4 and Toad Man, because that's <laughs> where we are again. <laughs> now, because the rain is pushing you back when you jump forward, you want to hold forward when you jump. And you can fall on this, on this cloud here. It doesn't look like you can, but you can. Don't worry about that. <laughs> again, use the Jewel Satellite to protect yourself. may as well use it. There's really no downside to using it, unless you're trying to go for the achievement that is use as little weapon energy as you can. This is yet another good grinding spot because these... Uh, because these umbrellas just keep spawning. And another safe thing to do is if you have Rush Jet here, just use Rush Jet to get across this part because this section can be a pain with the wind pushing you back and the rotating platforms, so... I don't have any shame in using the Rush Jet when they give me the option to do so. <laughs> you can also speedrun by making sure you have the Jewel Satellite equipped and just jump across these pits because the Jewel Satellite's gonna take out these Umbrella guys no problem. Also, another tip is you could have bought Beat in case you are worried about falling in pits. I never got a chance to show off the Plug Ball. Well, I'll show it off here. It's a, it's a faster search snake that scales walls. So, <laughs> there you go. And we're at Tornado Man, who looks suspiciously like, Har like Harpuya from Mega Man Zero as well. Uh, he's got his tornado hold, which he's going to raise tornadoes up. If you jump when he uses that, it does make you jump higher, which is exactly why there are spikes on the ceiling. And then when he jumps, he's going to land where you're land where you're standing. So think like Space Invaders. When he's in the air, he's going to land where you are, not where you're going to be. 
and just keep hitting him with the plug ball when he's on the ground. Or even when he's in the air, if you're lucky, you might hit him. <laughs> but there we go. Now we beat Tornado Man. <laughs> And I think I'm going to call that a video. <laughs> we still got... Let's see. We still got two more bosses left. So we got Magma Man and Hornet Man. Thank you guys for watching. And we will be going off to Magma Man in part four. See you guys then.